Hello everyone, so um, it's me Raven again. I just wanted to make a video about Wicca versus Christianity because I've had a lot of Christian feedback lately and it's not that I mind, it's just that I would really appreciate it if people would be a little bit more respectful because I don't ever try to tear down Christianity. I had a bad experience and you know people have bad experiences and then they discover a different path and then they go along with that path. Um, plus I understand that there's hypocrisy in all forms of religion but the one that I went when I was um, at my old private school there was so much hypocrisy there. You can never be saved enough. You can never be pent enough. It was really just kind of getting old to me. That and the fact that I really don't believe in the whole speaking in tongues ideology. Um, I was raised Methodist and went to a um, assembly of God, basically um, a Pentecostal um type school and um, I had some good moments there but most of most of the uh, time it wasn't very happy for me everyone was just kind of out to get each other because everyone felt so lost now that I speak to them they they um, some of them denounce Christianity, some of them um, are still Christian, but they want to explore um, other ways of worshiping. Um, I don't really know too many that go to the exact same church anymore, which is also the school. Um, so we would have chapel Wednesdays, and then we'd have the holy rollers rolling all over the floor. So all 100 um, students plus faculty would be um, rolling all over the floor from K-4 all the way up to 12th grade. And um, most Christians that I talk to that are not of this, um, I don't want to say cult because every, but every religion could be considered a cult. But, um, yeah, it, it was just not a very happy time in my life, and um, I would talk about it with friends, and then they would say, oh, you know, um, if, if you speak in tongues, you should have an interpreter. And um, I didn't turn Wicca because of... Christianity, but um, it, it basically kicked me out the door from being Christian any longer, and then um, I wound up discovering my, my true path and my true calling, and um, I've been happy about it ever since. And I was about 12 years old when I converted. I was really young, but um, I saw how everybody was so far down and being brainwashed by this religious group that I didn't want to be a part of it. I mean, I'd make a good show, but that's really about it. So that's my experience, and um, for those of you that are wondering why, um, to a more in-depth degree as to why I am not um, accepting of the Christian faith in my own personal heart. That's why. Um, if you didn't speak in tongues, then you were the Antichrist. Oh, I remember um, back in 1998, I believe it was, um, who did they say was the Antichrist? No other than Bill Clinton. So I thought that was kind of funny. 
Um, you know, I'd actually walk out of the church once in a while and take smoke breaks. Um, I had somebody that just wanted me to go and give it a second try, but it just never really worked out. So I'm going to um, basically not set in stone because it was here before I was, but um, I want to talk about the differences and why Christians shouldn't fear us because we're not satanic, just because they have the inverted pentagram. Um, that's just their personal religious symbol, and Satan is a Christian concept, not ours. Um, you know, the Jews believe in a Star of David, the Christians believe in a cross, um, and also the Wiccans believe in the pentagram, and unfortunately I'm not wearing one, or I'd show you, but, um, yeah, that's definitely not a, that's just a different necklace, um, but anyway, um, there are a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, and I'm gonna, just going to go run run down a lot of them. So Wicca or Neopaganism um, means either wise ones or to bend or shape. And Christianity is basically exactly what it implies, which is the follower of Christ. And as I said before, the main symbol is a pentagram versus Christianity which the main symbol is a cross. Um, basically, we adhere to different names. Um, Christians are just called Christians, or, you know, I'm, or they might say I'm Methodist, or I'm Jehovah's Witness, or I'm Mormon, or I'm Mennonite, um, to basically clarify their own groups. But we're known as witches, Wiccans, pagans, neo pagans, and that sort of thing. And um, we have one to three million people that are Wiccan worldwide, and Christians have two billion. So they've they've got a lot more, but um, there's a a lot more people converting from Christianity to either Muslim, Wicca, Judaism, what have you, because of bad experiences. And um, really, kind of, in a way, this is a guide for people that want to either consider Wicca or become Wiccan, or they want to um, pursue Christianity in a different way. Um, if you're going to preach, don't call people, don't point at certain individuals and call them a whore don't um don't randomly yell at people and tell them that they have to repent don't send me messages and say that i need to repent because i'm doing the devil's work because i don't even believe in a devil okay i believe in a god and a goddess and most of us believe in gods and different goddesses. And some people have one god, one goddess. Some people have multiple gods and multiple goddesses. We're polytheistic, if you haven't already figured that out, which is meaning multiple gods and goddesses, um, versus Christianity, which is monotheistic, meaning that they believe in one god. Um, so we have the highest concentrations of followers for the Wiccans in the UK, um, Canada, and the United States. And with Christianity, it's like North and South America and Europe and some in Asia too. Um, but there's, you know, Wicca is also pagan, but not all pagans are Wiccan. And I want to clear that up too. Sorry if I'm jumping all over the place, y'all. So. Um, the founder of Wicca was, you know, this was founded in the late 50s, 1958, by Gerald Gardner, who was a retired English civil servant, and the founder of Christianity was a Palestinian Jew named Jesus of Nazareth. Um, Wicca is, um, 
actually a lot older than you would think because um, it's basically a combination of all the pagan types of religions and um, they were actually before they were known as Wicca they were known as you know the craft or the witches or um, and they would actually back in um, ancient times they would um, advise they would advise the um, they would advise people. People would pay them to advise, or they would say, um, you know, I, I want you to advise me. Like Saul, for example, he banned the witches um, due to his religious beliefs. But before that, though, he um, he had witch advisors, and then. Um, when he banned them all, he was like, oh no, now what? And then he had to go and um, try to find one outside of the city or outside of the actual region where um, he lived. So that's just a little bit of a historical background on Wicca and witchcraft, but it's, it's lasted a really long time. Um, Christianity is really old, but it's not as old as, you know, um, before Christ was born. I mean, that that whole thing is, you know, basically pre Christian pre Christianity was Judaism and whatever. So, um, Christians believe in something called the Ten Commandments, um, the Bible, the churches. Um, we believe in, we have churches too, but we gain insight from each other more so than the Christians do. Um, I find that the Christians usually like to argue a whole lot more than the Wiccans do. The Wiccans are always trying to defend themselves, but that's just, you know, an observation. Um, Wicca is actually based on Celtic and Norse pagan religion and um, Egyptian pagan, which was way, way before Christ. Okay. Um, so, yes, we believe in the Wiccan read, which is our Ten Commandments, and Christians believe in the Bible and we have a book of shadows which is basically like our little personal Bible and our journey from where we were at one point in our lives to to finish and then we pass it down to generation to generation um, and I will also clear this up too there are a lot of posers out there that say that they're wicked and um, they say well I believe in the devil and I really don't like those people because they really give us a bad name. It's like Pat Robertson and Christianity. Pat Robertson gives Christianity a bad name too. Um, so anyway. Um, also Christians, all of their holidays were based on our personal Wiccan holidays, um, including certain rituals like Christmas trees, those are pagan. Um, Yule, for example, that is Christmas, um, pretty much. And stringing lights around the house, that's a pagan thing, um, which is actually, instead of lights, it's candles. But it, it's light not, nonetheless. Um, Jesus Christ said, do not um, worship my life nor my death. And it's amazing to me that um, Christians worldwide celebrate all of these holidays. If they don't like us, why do they celebrate our holidays? Or rather, we call them Sabbath, Sabbaths. But anyway, um, so 
our assembled worshipers are called covens, whereas um, the Christians assembled worshipers are called um, churches or congregations. And our best place of worship is outside, outdoor. We love the outdoors. Um, we tend to nature and we don't sacrifice animals like other people think we do. Um, we don't believe in that. In fact, a lot of Wiccans are um, vegetarian and they believe in um, the humane treating of animals even if they were meat eaters. So, um, in other words, you can't slaughter something in an inhumane way. You have to basically, um, I wouldn't say worship, but you have to really um, sort of praise or nurture something with your whole heart before you consume it, which makes a lot more sense than um, just a senseless slaughtering of animals for consumption. Um, okay, and the Christians, of course, believe in going to church and chapel and meeting halls and sometimes outdoors, and I've been to outdoor churches. Um, some of you may recall, um, if you're old enough, back in 1967 to 1969 um, or 1970, they had these um, outdoor churches and, you know, these groups are Christian and they, you know, worship and sang and prayed and um, did little rituals and basically really like you could really feel the positive energy coming off of them. That is very similar to the way we practice our faith. Um, our special rituals are the initiation, which is getting into um, Wicca. Usually you start that when you first start Wicca and then the hand fasting ritual, which is marriage. And Christians believe in baptism and the confirmation of marriage. Um, we have way more, um, we have way more how do I put it? Sabbaths than Christians do holidays, but every Christian holiday is um, based off of our Sabbaths that have existed even before Wicca was really anything at all. Um, Easter eggs, Easter, Lent, um, all of that was based on pagan ideology. Um, our major holidays are Samhain, Beltan, um, and the equinoxes and the solstices. And um, of course, Christians worship, or not worship, sorry, they practice Easter, um, Christmas, and various feasts whether it be um, spaghetti dinners that my old school used to have um, after school or what have you. Um, but yeah, so Christians believe in the golden rule. It's actually in the Bible, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And a lot of Christians I've noticed don't take that very seriously, which is why, you know, they bother me and a lot of other um, people of other faiths. And they think it's going to change people's mind, which it never does. Um, we take ours very seriously. And it's in the Wiccan read, if it harms none, do what you will. But we take that extremely seriously. Or... Um, karma sets in and threefold it can come back to you whether it be bad or good.
status of women are equal to the value of men. And um, I would say probably a little bit more celebrated because of the fertility aspect of um, women. If there are no women, there would be no men. Um, and it goes more than, you know, we really strongly celebrate fertility, the fertility in plants, the fertility in all living, all living things, basically. Um, Christians, it's a Christian idea that women are underneath men to a certain extent. I mean, now it's not so bad, but it used to be that it was really bad. And actually in the South, you see it more often probably than in other places. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been up North, I've been out West and you don't see it nearly as often as you do down here in the South where the, the woman is, um, very subservient to men. And, um, in Wicca, most uh, people have their, you know, like, they, they don't have gender roles in the exact same way that um, Christian Christians believe. And I'm not saying I disagree with that because it's been around me all my life, but anyway. Um, you find a lot of priestesses in Wicca and in Christianity, um, rather the Catholicism part of uh, Christianity, you don't find it nearly as often. Um, but, you know, you're, you're starting to see it more and more. We also believe in uh, that it's okay to be gay, bisexual, transgendered, although if um, they have if if there's certain ceremonies going on that's being held by a particular church member, usually a high priest or priestess, um, then it's actually up to them uh, whether or not they want to have certain members there. Like, I remember that there was a someone that was transgender that was Wiccan that wasn't um, very happy about that, but, you know, he or she actually went to um, another type of uh, congregation and, you know, that very same day. It just really depends on who's holding it. Some people are just still very old school, especially here in the southern part of the states. Um, but yeah, like I said, most of the, most of the um, women I know and in fact, a lot of the guys that I know that are Wiccan are bisexual, but that doesn't mean that you need to be, it doesn't mean you need to be gay, it doesn't mean you need to be bisexual, and it does not mean that, that you cannot be straight, because there's a lot of straight people in the faith as well, but, or the, the, the path is pretty much what they call it, um, Christians normally call it the faith, you know, with Christianity, um, So yeah, we accept and celebrate um, in most traditions, actually in all traditions, homosexuality, but like I said, it just depends on who's holding the um, ceremonies and things like that. And Christianity, oh, my screen went dead. Christianity rejects um, homosexuality in almost every denomination, but you're starting to see it more and more, but it's always controversial and it's always on the news and it's so pathetic. I wish people would just shut the hell up because, you know, I understand that there's people that are really old school that are against homosexuality, but I mean, why would you care if someone's homosexual? I don't know. Maybe I should ask that question. We have an utmost concern for the environment. The Wiccans do. Um, Christians don't 
really have as much of a concern for the environment as um, Wicca does. Um, that's why I get really upset when people say that um, we're devil worshippers and we sacrifice animals. I actually, when I was in high school, I had a teacher of mine uh, tell everybody that I sacrifice chickens. Like she saw me sacrifice a chicken. And at the time I was vegan and I took it um, very hard and I reported her to the principal because there wasn't really anything else I could have done. But yeah, I mean, I've um, seen the cruelty aspect of it. And I mean, I'm not going to change the way I believe based on what somebody else says in a negative way about me um, the same way a Christian wouldn't change who they are um, based on something that something cruel that someone says about them and the way that they worship actually but it, it did um, well there are exceptions there I, I suppose I mean I changed my mind because I just really got fucking tired of it for lack of a better term but um anyway it was really nice making this video because I think it would you know, kind of make peace, and I, I don't understand why we can't just coexist. I mean, there's um, a lot of coexist bumper stickers out there, um, but it really amazes me that the people that have those bumper stickers, um, some of them don't even believe in coexisting with, um, say, us, which is not fair you need to take the bumper sticker off your car because you don't believe in coexisting if if you can't coexist with all groups and all aspects of nature and that sort of thing but yeah I just wanted to um, clear up a bunch of garbage because lately I've been getting a lot of harassing comments from people that um, are very ignorant and don't know what the hell they're talking about so, um, send me a video response, leave me a comment, um, rate and subscribe, obviously, and have a great day. This video was a lot longer than I thought it would be. Hmm.